Okay, we're gonna have to put together a team. I think it's time for dungeons. As cool as this armor is, I can't start using it to grind mass amount of coin until I have maxed out my efficiency. Otherwise, I'm going to feel bad. So, um, let's do it. Seal wants an invite. Yes, yes. Now, uh, chat, what are your thoughts? If I want to get recoms quickly, isn't it floor three, right? That's the quickest. If we wanted to just get the recoms out of the way quickly, um, it would be floor three, right? In the process of mining the ruby for the coin, I am technically going to be powder grinding, so that's good. I mean, some more dwarven powder or dwarven powder, some mithril would be nice, but it's not going to make that big a difference. I'm pretty close to max if I reset my tree and go all in on speed and fortune. Yes, there it is. Recom number two. Let's go. Hey, chat, you want to see something crazy? The title is about to become real. Oh, the title is officially real. Full, recommed, jaded, chambered, max, perfect, gemstone, jaded. I already said jaded. Helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots of divine. This is the best mining armor in the game, and it's done. There is nothing I could do to make it better at mining. Uh, no uh, growth of prod six or seven. Sorry, but there it is. Now we just need one more recom for artifact of power, and then at that point, the only way I can make my mining fortune better, which is straight up money, is um, recomming the equipment. Which no. Which. Oh, I don't care which because recom. <laughs> recom number three acquired. Well, there you go. Goal accomplished. We did it. Oh, beautiful. Well, I'm sorry to say people in the party, but I have run out of coin. <laughs> well, I have like three mil left, but that's about it. I think for at least right now I'm done. Maybe later in the stream, we could do some floor sixes for the funsies. Well, it'd have to be a different party actually. Now that I think about it because carry rules, but, um, but yes, we have accomplished our, our goal. We got our third recom absolutely wicked so here's the moment of truth artifact of power bump and boop oh that's a whole plus four mining speed and plus five mining fortune oh boy and a bunch of other stats as well now it's gonna get another rarity upgrade when i max out all the gems which is literally gonna happen tomorrow because all the gems are here as you're about to see they're all in the forge they're all here as you can see we're gonna max it out as a matter of fact we're only one gemstone away from maxing out the talisman and the gauntlet we're gonna see all the books that i got which should mostly be uh wisdom and rejuvenate and ultimate wise which is great because all three of which we need for enderman slayer um we're gonna see what we can do to max out our armor even more. Oh, look at this, dude. Most of the books are books that I need. Oh, there's a Rejuvenate tube in there. Dude, only three of the books were stuff that I didn't want. All of this I need. That is so good. So anyways, uh, this seems to be the best bet. Now we have like, okay, chat, do you want to test out a T3? I don't know, chat. This vial is worth like 150k. Why not? Why don't I just put it on now? Like, who cares? I'll put Fabled on it again later, but I think sus might be a good idea for at least the moment. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just, let's go all out. Why not? I want to see how higher damage I can go. I know that's for legendary. The ability is uh, the same for um, epic though. Let's just do it. Screw it. Let's see what it is on this. Plus 65, whereas this gets plus 60, so it gives five more crit damage. No bonus attack speed, but it has the suspicious bonus, which is really, really good. Base attack, um, bonus, at <laughs> making the base weapon damage higher is an insane buff. That's why fumings are so good. Now let's fix our bonus attack speed again, because it went down. Okay, so it's 56 now, which means we need another six. Ooh. So I might need to one, two, three, 
40 points I got to put in that and then the rest in strength. So my stats are definitely more lopsided. We should be so much stronger against T3s now because like the last time I tried it, I'm pretty sure I didn't even have wisdom on the armor. Now I have at least wisdom. Okay, almost at least wisdom three for every piece four on this piece an average of wisdom three on the whole set if you think about it because this one's four this one's two so an average of wisdom three on the whole set then i have um rejuvenate five four 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 so a ton more uh healing i've fixed the reforge now it's suspicious I have more magic power, some more tuning points. I also put ultimate wise on every healing item that I have. So now, well, not overflux because you can't do that. The wand is ultimate wise five. Imagine you're just walking around and you see people going like this all the time. So this is the best mining equipment in the game, but it's not the best for Enderman Slayer. We already have the best setup almost minus recoms for enderman slayer magma necklace is useless so i'm thinking i get a second ender necklace and i put like strengthened on it or something i'm pretty sure that would be the best bet let's get ourselves another ender necklace and then put strengthened on it because it also the stats get doubled while on the end island so that's probably our best bet now if this is still a struggle the next step is going to be getting fabled on the katana instead of sus um getting 25k kills on the chest plate which is about to happen anyways and the helmet, which is not about to happen. So that's going to be a little yikes. Uh, then I'd have to find ways to increase my damage some more, which is a problem because like, that's not going to happen unless I upgrade the sword, which I can't do until I can kill T3s because null atoms. So I think if T3s are still a struggle, then obviously I'm going to have to still wait until Scorpius, get hegemony artifact, get ender. Ar oh, ender artifact ender artifact right i forgot about that we are buying ender artifact when scorpius comes it's not related to scorpius but i might as well get it at the same time nether artifact wither artifact there are multiple talismans i want to get jacobus register again not related but it's coin so i'm gonna grind for the coins to get it there's a solid like i would say 200 magical power that i'm probably just gonna suddenly get like a week and a half from now and i might just get some extra coin and run more floor threes to get recoms to you know recom all that stuff all right here we go it's time to try out another t3 kill we have the completion but it wasn't easy i have to pay close attention so that i don't spawn the boss too early I want to have full mana at the start of the fight. Oh! <laughs> oh, not good. Not good. Um, no mana. Dead right off the freaking bat because I placed the overflux. All right. No, we should be fine. Ooh, so many bruisers. I can't see any heads. Because the walls are obsidian. It makes it hard to see. There's one right there. I got it! That was actually easy! <gasps> Yo! Do I hear consistent T3s? Do I hear consistent T3s? It was a mana problem the whole time. Big surprise. Just like I freaking thought. But wow, that obsidian makes it hard to see. No, that's coal blocks. Okay. 110%. I need to make an overlay that turns all these blocks into a color that is more contrasty. I can't see the heads. Skull highlight. That is a thing. It wasn't working, but it's a thing. Do barbarians not have like a billion XP HP? Give me your soul. I just want to fight Varklums, man. Oh my God. Is that a semblance of connection? <gasps> oh, let's go. There we go. Two barbarian souls. Let's see how those do in place of the wither specter souls. Please. And then kill this. Regenerate some mana. Here we go. Oh, souls. I didn't mean it. Oh. All right, here goes. It appears to be fine. I think my mana regeneration and lack of consumption is actually so good now that I might not have to worry about it anymore. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Why is that hurting so bad? 
I'm wearing the right armor. Oh, why am I getting so hard? It randomly did so much HP. Oh, didn't mean to hit you. And you're dead. Mod's working. That's good. That's good news. That means the heads are going to be more obvious as well. Oh, 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 lag. Why am I getting so low? It's because I'm using a sheep. It's because I'm using a sheep. I'm still alive though. Wait. <laughs> it's because I'm using a freaking sheep. Oh, let me change pets. Let me change pets. I can't change pets. I have to finish this fight with the wrong pet. <gasps> no. It's ahead. Oh my God. That's not the boss. That's the boss. No, I had the wrong pet. I had the wrong pet. I was actually close. <laughs> I was just in the wrong pet. No, and I couldn't switch because the stupid boss hits you from a mile away. I just spilled freaking soda on myself. That was impressive though. That was an impressive performance. The fact that I almost survived that without Enderman Pet, which I've been leaning heavily on, is very impressive. All right, we should struggle a lot less now. A lot less. This should be easy sauce now that we have the right pet. Just gotta remember to replace the orb. Ah! Ah! That was close. Mod broke. Oh, we're lagging, lagging, lagging. Service lagging. Service lagging. Oh my God, service lagging so bad. Please no. Keep me alive. It's like it's so bad. I still did it though. Holy crap, lobby, please. Oh yeah, chat, chat is um capping right now. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um, Badline's pet display doesn't work with auto pet, so it looks like wolf, but it's actually it was Enderman the whole time. See, it's still it's still no auto pet. That is not compatible with BLC's pet display. So no, you're actually you're being lied to by the screen. It was it was Enderman. That lag was awful. Why is it that? Okay, I think it's safe to say. If my auto pet works, which it does, we're fine. If I wanted to, I could auto slay it right now and grind T3s. I could. I would have no problem. I'd be fine. Proof of concept done. Which is awesome because now we can finally have a chance of getting our sword. The biggest problem is clearly damage. Now, defense, not really that big a deal, which is kind of crazy if you think about it, because we don't have Ender Artifact or Vorpal Katana. So like both of those things are well within our grasp, which means that T3s are going to be a pushover. Well, proof of concept done. In 45 minutes, we're finally going to be able to buy 10x maximum npc stuff from diaz which is gonna be very good now i think the next thing i'm gonna do is um i think we should do a little bit of carrot farming perhaps because i really really want to get this ready i want to get maxwell as a contact how do you grind for so long and not get sick of it well let's be honest it's my job and to be honest you know it's not that bad it's not really all that bad I, and i get to talk to you guys too like this is probably one of the most mentally stimulating jobs there is. Cause like I get to talk to thousands of people. Like, yeah, I don't know, it's fun. I, I do like streaming, it's very fun. Money's a really good motivator, it is. But like, I don't really get that bored because I'm always talking to people. And when I'm doing the off camera grinds, I get to catch up on Netflix. Like I watched all of Stranger Things during the Foraging 33 grind. And probably uh, when I'm doing my 1 billion coin ruby mining thing over the next week, I need some shows to watch, chat. Yeah, I'm going to need some shows to catch up on. If I'm going to be spending 
probably here's my guess chat 50 hours i'm gonna be spending at an absolute minimum that is assuming 20 million coins an hour which is probably a high estimate if i'm watching stuff i'm probably not going to be as efficient so i'm guessing probably 17 to 18 mil an hour so it's most likely going to be like 60 hours of mining ruby that i need to have something to watch while i'm doing it Tell me how